Hey everybody, Teresa Sigmund here, and you're not in the sewing room. I'm not in the sewing room, and there's not a dress in sight, um, but I have a cat. <laughs> I was sort of trying to decide on a set on where to film what's maybe only my third ever personal blog, and I think the first one I've ever recorded sitting on a couch. Um, and the cat decided that as I was floofing and rearranging everything that she was just going to take a nap. So she'll be joining us for today's blog. <laughs> I hope you're not allergic to cats. <laughs> but the reason I'm doing a personal blog is because for days now I've been thinking, what can I give you all? What can I give my Solo Pro fans that is something new, that's something refreshing, something that we haven't talked about before? So I've been racking my brain for a week and wasn't coming up with anything that really wowed me. And I try to always be very inspired when I release things for you. And sometimes that means it takes me longer than what I would like to actually get stuff done. But I wanna always make sure it's top-notch quality. And I got my idea yesterday. Now, yesterday for much of the world was Christmas Day, December 25th. Well, it was December 25th for the entire world. <laughs> but not necessarily Christmas day for the entire world. And I was spending the day alone. And I decided, um, at first I thought, oh, I'm just gonna work, whatever, no big deal. I have a lot to do, a lot of video editing to do for the, the sewing school, I'm just gonna work. And then the night before I checked the weather and I was like, oh, it's gonna be sunny, <laughs> which is unusual here in the Pacific Northwest in December. So I thought, okay, nope, I'm not gonna work. I'm taking the day off and I'm gonna to drive to the coast, which is about an hour and a half away. Really close drive. Now, after I finish, after I get up off the couch here, I'm going to show you the video that I filmed yesterday. It's absolutely spectacular. And I got so excited <laughs> as I was, cause I always carry hiking shoes in my car and I got so excited that as I was changing shoes to get out of my regular tennis shoes into my hiking shoes, I forgot and I only changed one shoe <laughs> and I didn't even realize it until I was scampering up a rock and then started falling down the rock because <laughs> it was wet and slippery. My inspiration for you of what, what I could give you, and there's two, two topics I want to cover, um, but I'm only gonna cover one today and it is to stop and look around and appreciate the beauty that is everywhere around us. Everyone is so busy and so preoccupied with things on their to-do list and where to go and what to do and they're not experiencing life. There's always so much noise in everyone's heads that you don't, most of us don't take time to see what is so glorious around us. And it doesn't have to be a trip. A lot of times the only time people actually enjoy that which is around them is when they're on vacation. And even then, some people are so busy saying, okay, well, we have to see this and we have to see that and we have to see that, they don't actually experience it. So if, if I could inspire you with this blog to do one thing for yourself in 2017, one thing to help improve your life in so many ways, it is to stop and look around, stop and observe the beauty and the peace and the happiness that is around you. Do it like a child does. If there's a bumblebee on the flower, just stop and look. Give yourself 60 seconds. Stop and smell the roses. Um, I did this earlier this summer, which I do regularly if I'm out for an evening walk or whatever, I'll literally stop and smell the roses. And I was at this shopping center where they had planted not so pretty roses, you know, kind of around the cars to make it not seem like an ugly parking lot. And um, I, so I was bending over, sniffing the rose, and this gentleman walked by me and didn't even say hello. He just walked by and said, stop and smell the roses. But he didn't take his own advice. He just said it and kept walking. And I, I thought, gosh, what a shame. <laughs> he acknowledged that I was doing it, but he was not willing to do that for himself. So why do you, why do you wanna do this? Why would you not wanna do this for starters? It's free and but there are also a lot of physiological benefits 
physiological. Yeah, your body. Your body and your mind benefit from doing this. So if you're having a really stressed out day, your blood pressure is high, your mind is just going, 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 because you got all, and you got all these negative thoughts running through it because things aren't going well, your stress level's high, you've got a deadline, you've got whatever. If you just stop and watch that hummingbird that just flew up to my window here, or you stop and you listen to that child's laughter or them screaming as they run through the playground, your blood pressure drops. It resets, it turns off all of those negative stressful thoughts that were running through your head just seconds before. It turns those off and it allows you to look at your problem anew. And your problem is suddenly not quite so bad. There are so many really good things from doing this. Even if you don't take all day like I did on Christmas Day or you don't take a vacation, you can stop and look around you and enjoy the sunset, the flowers. Um, notice when you look at the trees, how many shades of green there are in the springtime. A lot of us only notice in autumn when they change, you know, to yellows and oranges and goldens, but why not spring? There's 50 shades of green at least. You know how grumpy people seem to really attract bad things happening to them so that they have reason to continue to be grumpy? When you take time, if you're in that foul mood, that foul stressful mood because you've got a deadline or the dress that you're making isn't working or your own child is misbehaving, if you do something to flip that switch and you change your own mood and you're the only one responsible for your own mood, but if you flip that switch and change the mood and it only takes 60 seconds, then suddenly you stop getting more of the crap <laughs> that annoys you and you start seeing more beauty. You start experiencing more peace, more joy. That is one of the two key things that I would personally like to share with you for 2017. I know doing that has made such a tremendous difference in my life. It really has. <laughs> I'm actually gonna cry now. <laughs> oh, good grief. Um, it really has made such a difference in how I feel and how much I really love my life. <laughs> so on that note, I will share with you this short little video that I filmed on the Oregon coast yesterday. I hope you enjoy it. It's December 25th, 2016. And this, my friends, is the Oregon coast. I am in Oceanside, and this is um, the Arches. It's a, a protected area. There used to be a lot of sea lions out there, but I don't see them today. Um, we have surfers. And This is the little town of Oceanside. There's hang gliding, or parasailing, I guess, from the, the cliff there on the left of the screen. And it's just a beautiful, unseasonably warm, clear day. It's just spectacular. And then looking that way is Cape Lookout. So off in the distance there is Cape Lookout, which is a really beautiful hike. And Neatarts Bay. So yeah, I'm gonna quit talking and quit filming and go for a really nice walk on the beach. It's not very windy today, it's just gorgeous. And I just came through the Lost Boys Tunnel, which we could see from the other half. And so when you come through the tunnel, then this is what's here. We've got a different view of the three arch rocks and it just keeps on going. Yep. 
Yep, it just keeps on going. And this is just sheer rock behind. Fascinating that a lone tree, well, two or three of them actually, are trying to survive and they've been there for decades. Just gorgeous, isn't it? This is why I love Oregon. And now that I'm a little closer, I don't think I can zoom in enough for you all to see, but there are actually, I don't know, 20 or so sea lions on the flat rock closest to the camera. So, yeah. I'm not sure if tide is going in or out, and I don't want to get trapped over here because the only way back around is either around this point right here, which is pretty deep in cold water, or back through the Lost Boys Tunnel. So I am going to keep going, check out some more things, and I um, hope the tide is going out instead of coming in. But yeah, isn't this spectacular? Wow. Talk to you again another time.